And hello everybody, this is Chino Reem. I'm going to be casting a professional professional match, my first ever professional match for the channel of SC40. This is going to be a Mouse Hasu, I'm guessing that's German, versus Liquid TLO. Why I'm doing this is because I figure I might as well spice up the channel a bit with a couple of casts of professional matches. You know, you guys love seeing them because they're the best players in the game. Not the best, obviously, but they these two players are very high quality players. They know how to play, and uh, let's get this game started. And of course, I shall speed up to um, get through the boring parts. Twelve pool for a uh, liquid TLO. And gate starting off for mouse. There should be a 14 gas going on here. No. Maybe we'll see something different. Both refineries down for a for a mouse and throwing up the cybernetics. And there is the uh, Late extractor, I'm suggest I think. A late extractor going down and a couple wings running out here. Looks like he's going to go for the fast expand. You can see all sort of points that we've talked about in our recent videos, such as the overlord scouting, um, the scouting of the probe. He just he keeps going around till it dies. <laughs> But he sees all the info he needs to start up the game. Chrono boosting out a zealot and sentry. Fast expand going down f for TLO. TLO is someone I always like playing. I mean, <laughs> like watching, yes, because I play TLO. This must be, this is probably a, a league German match, a German league match, maybe. A, German German or something, as these players are both German. I'm assuming Mouse Hasu is by his name, and no TLO is. A couple more Lings popping out here, making some overlords and drones. Looks like a forge going down, he's gonna be getting upgrades, and there's four gateways. Four gating it. The warp gate's coming out soon, getting his economy up. Chrono boosting that uh, warp gate out. Over here we've got more lings coming out. And working on the expansion. A couple lings, enough to defend off his, uh, or hold off the expansion long enough to get it going. Like I'm just subtle things, checking around the mineral line. Maybe, maybe left uh, something there to stop him. I've done that before. It works very well to leave a uh, a marauder or a, or a sentry or something behind the mineral line stop that initial uh, attempt to fast expand. It's like a stalker going to take out this overlord, like I've talked before. You want to keep your overlords in a place where they're not going to die, or at least where they can run away. So a small force building up here for mouse. And here, look at this ling stopping the fast expand in case, because usually players will just send out a probe or something to build it and will think nothing of it until they look back and it's gone. It looks like double push, neither of them know this coming. Here's a push, oh, oh, now he knows it's coming, he's gonna counter it off, or he's just holding the middle. He does not see this push, oh, now he sees the push. Didn't see that over there. Running his forces through the fire of Hasu. TLO, try TLO trying to effectively Micro. Well, Mouse is just moving out for his base. But look at look at the mass lings with it. See, he just he throws down a simple spine crawler, one here, one there, to help defend. And then he uses the mobility of his lings to uh, transfer to keep uh, both uh, places alive if need be. And he's spreading the creep. He's gonna connect his creep so that his units can move really quickly across it from base to base. And it looks like a confrontation stone. Oh. Couple lings going down. More lings coming out here, stopping the proxy pylon. 
Oh, more units warping in in time. Oh, and they get cancelled. Does that mean they die? I'm not even too sure. I guess that means they just get cancelled. Really pushes here, trying to take out his overlords, trying to defend him. Oh, he's walking right into this trap. You do not want to get behind between these spine crawlers, and he sees that and backs off. His first Ling Force coming in for a bit of harass. Still no uh, expansion here. Look at these players. APM. Oh, gets the wall up. He's just stopping these Lings from getting anywhere, in, anywhere inside the base. And one cannon easily holding that off. Oh, it looks like I missed an attack down here. Maybe I should rewind this. My first cast of a professional level. <laughs> Through, we've seen this. It looks like they. He's building up his forces before he goes to pick any of these uh, spine crawlers off. He wants to micro effectively to get rid of a. Oh, look at this placement. Very good placement. They take, except they take forever. Oh, and while the, in transition, he just gets right in there and starts attacking them before they even get down. That's the problem. And he's going to take out all. Oh, he's. <laughs> Pulling back, taking out. He needs to kill that one. There we go. Now he can effectively get rid of this hatchery without getting in the way of these morlings coming out. As we know, the uh, defense over here stopped any wings. He's gonna come back and help defend his base. This is not gonna get down in time. It's done. Bad attempt there by the little one to get a spine crawler in there. That was a waste. Mouse just having a better economy. No gas for TLO. No gas. He really doesn't need it because he's not using any gas. To, he doesn't need. He doesn't have anything that can build gas besides upgrades. And it looks like an attack. Coming right, but he's using everything he's got to take on this base or take on this push by a uh, mouse. And oh, effective force fear. Look at this, look at this. Cannot get in effective use of the sentry. Low level players, note the uses of sentries. Very good. They are very handy, very good. Don't just go all stalkers and zealots. Get some sentries, they are so good. It looks like this attack is being fended off, but at what cost? These are some, look at the mineral tab. Um, No expansion yet. You'd think he would be expanding now to get his economy up. It looks like he's going to with this uh, trail here. Is the attack not successful? Well, pretty successful seeing he took out his, uh, his expand and mm, quite a bit of his economy. But really, what can Tilo do from here? A few lings and a few spine colors. If we check the the resource. Uh, Mouse just has to warp in some units and the confrontation. Taking out some lings. He needs to get more units and he'll easily be able to take on the sling force. Will he come back and block this ramp off? Oh, he's going to try and save his expo, which is finally going up. And it looks like they're just dancing around here. Nothing really happening. He knows he can't defeat those uh, zealots. He's just trying to get at the expansion. But is there enough defense here to fight off this? It looks like there is, but he's going to try and take out the expo. And Tilo's attempt at taking out the expo pretty much fails. Not a whole lot of chance against this little bit of units. And it looks like <laughs> the attack coming in here is one of his spine crawlers is trapped out of place again bad and micro on those spine colors. Don't get them out of place, because look how long they take to burpee. And he takes it one, and there's the GG, and TLO leaves the game. So this obviously wasn't a league match, as uh, they're spectators. As you can see, the uh, expansion went down, so... can really uh, see the effectiveness of uh, pressuring Zerg early really makes a difference when you pressure the Zerg early. Stop them from expanding, there's not much they can do when they uh, can't expand.
it's the basis of playing Zerg, so you just need to expand and uh, or take it out if you're pro. I feel like I should edit that out. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip over that. I, I wish I could because I don't have the editing skills. You get the gist. Zerg needs to expo, so if you can stop that from happening, then you can win the game. If you don't, there's a good chance that they're gonna overrun you with the swarm. So anyways, there is the first professional cast for SC4D going up on the channel soon. As soon as you're seeing this, obviously. Um, this is Chino Reams signing out.